Well, this is my newest addition. This is Miss Clara Louise Gedkin. Um, I wasn't planning on having her in this interview, but she didn't want to be put down. So I figured here she is. Henrik Ibsen is a very, he's a, he's a brilliant writer in that he tackles some pretty, what can seem like very heavy subjects from the outside, but he can, he works in a lot of, of humor. A Doll's House is about a upper middle class family uh, in Norway, but don't worry, we speak English. Um, it's the, the Helmer family, it's Torvald and Nora Helmer. And the, the story really centers on Nora and her experiences trying to um, cover up some um, some fiblets that she has told <laughs> to save her husband's life. Nora and Torvald, actually, I think they have a really sweet relationship. Nora absolutely loves her husband. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm not playing Torvald, but it would seem that he loves Nora too. He calls her his little sparrow, you know, his little bird. And, you know, it, in a way there's a bit of a um, trophy wife kind of thing going on, but Nora likes that, that's their, that's their language, that's their love language. She loves to be adored and he loves to adore her and he likes to show her off. I first saw Alex Jorth performing with Victory Productions this last summer and he was so charming and sweet. And at the time we were looking for someone for the story of my life. We ended up, of course, casting him. And I'm pretty sure all of our studio audience fell completely in love with him in that role. Um, I just loved watching him every night. And so when we were looking for a Torvald for a doll's house, um, I was like, well, you know, let's read him. And um, we, we read him and he was lovely, delightful. So I'm so excited to bring him back and to get to play with him. You know, we um, became pretty good friends and I really enjoyed watching him work. And I'm very excited to get to play his wife. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The role of Nora Helmer is one of those roles that a women of my age dream of playing. It's, it's a bucket list role. It's a watershed moment in, in a career, and it was a watershed moment in, in theater history. She was one of the first really uh, strong women to be written about in such a realistic way uh, on stage. So I'm, I'm excited to be able to go through that kind of awakening every night. Again, I don't want to spoil any endings, but you know, Nora gets to really discover herself every, every single night, and I think that is going to be exhilarating. It was written in the late 1870s, I believe it came out in 1879, and it was actually it was very controversial at the time. It, I believe its first production was in Denmark, and um, it was written about well outside of the theater criticism. You know, it, it made the world stage of news. Um, because it was very controversial, controversial to show a woman in anything other than in a subservient position. In response to some of the criticism of the play, Henrik Ibsen said, A woman cannot be herself in modern society, since it is exclusively a male society, with laws made by men and with prosecutors and judges who assess feminine conduct from a masculine standpoint. Having a daughter as opposed to a son changes your worldview, I think, about a lot of things. Um, I remember when my son was born being somewhat relieved to be raising a boy and not a girl. Um, there's just so many things that I think are gray when you're raising a girl, you know. Um, a conversation I have a lot with my husband is, you know, how do you teach a girl to be proud of her body and love herself, but also at the same time raise her in a world where putting it on display is rather dangerous. In that regard, I think having a daughter and looking at a play like this reminds me of how important it is to continue to pursue this kind of work and how important it is to tell these kinds of stories. Yes, this play is almost 150 years old, but we still need to be talking about this. You know, we still need to be remembering that or reminding ourselves that women are equal to men in society, you know? and. Raising a, raising a son, I think you have a responsibility to teach that son that. And raising a girl, you have a responsibility to empower her to that. And I think it's just a different way of looking at things. And I think ultimately this play is about that. It's about female empowerment. And, but it's also about the sacrifice that female empowerment brings. You know, for her, she makes a huge sacrifice to be empowered. We have come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. Macaroons are Nora's favorite treat and Torvald won't ever let her have any. 
So come to the studio and watch me eat some macaroons.